Okay, so I don't exactly know what's going on with my GoPro. I do need to get another one. It's a little busted. Um, that's all I can get it to do. And then when I click this... Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the GoPro is toasted for now. I'll have to figure that out later. Anyway, so for the Ford... Now, obviously, you guys all know that uh, the wheels go on here. So, uh, I figured I'd do a little video today of me swapping the wheels back over. I know this looks really cool, doesn't it? Um, actually, here, let's uh, pull this off of here. Um, yeah, it's got a... A good bit of flex even with these wheels good to go so yeah but without further ado let's uh let's actually pop these wheels off of here once hey do 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 all right Long screws, huh? Always with the long screws. Come on. Holy cow. There it is. Alright. So, now, if you can tell, I'm using wheel adapters, so we gotta... Push this little thingy out of there. And then we move to the front wheel. And I, I don't really have a good way to do this. Spinning the wheel on the other side. Look at how far it's dropped down. Oh, look at that. It just popped right off. Alright, there we go. We got one. And two. I'm going to put them back on the Hummer. And actually, I'm going to take them off this stand because obviously changing the wheels and stuff, it's a little harder to work with the stand. I am waiting on a phone call, so... We'll see how that turns out. Oh, that one's still on there a little ways, I guess. Let's see if we can get that off of there. Get in there like that, and then spin it. There we go. All right. These are some chonkas, aren't they? Good sized tires. All right, let's slide that guy out of the way. Oh, jeez. Big tires. Set those aside. All right, we're gonna see if I can add this to part, or add this to it. If not, this will have to be two videos, but I've already got that one on. Um, 
like I said, waiting on a phone call, so got some other things going on here. Um, yeah, let's uh, just get these on here. Oh, yeah, these are. Oh, well, that's not good. All right, I really don't like it when this happens. get stuck in there it does it with a lot of wheels I guess well at least a lot of my wheels I tend to push my cars to the limit so it happens quite quite often not exactly sure how I'm going to send this long video over. I might actually have to put it on YouTube and then download it from YouTube back onto my computer. So we'll see what happens. And then edit it all into one video. I've had to do that before. We'll see. I'm hoping things are a little different now. Oh, these wheels are just meant to be on here. Looks so much better. Oh yeah, this this also has a uh, rear steer as as well. Um, I don't know if I said that in this video yet, but this this Hummer is actually uh, completely handmade by me. Uh, I've got a lot of hours in it, and there's actually two different. Um, receivers for it uh there's one for lights and there's one for um you have the basic one which is for the lights and then you have the other one which drives the car um and so the one with the lights is actually the traxxas tqi setup and the reason i have it on the lights and not the drive is all of the uh, sensors and stuff are plugged into it, so there's really not much power that can be... Uh, all that power that is drawn, I want from the lights, I want to be able to see that. I know how much power the actual truck itself takes to run. I'm not too worried about that. Um, and you can usually, especially with something this big, you can usually tell um, how much power your vehicle is taking by uh, just watching your voltage go up and down. So I don't really have it set up that way. I just have it set up to be able to tell me what's going on with uh, the little bit of amperage draw coming from turning the lights, running the lights on and off. There's underglow on it. There's two roof lights. There's lights throughout all of the uh, markers except for the tail lights right now because I plan on doing a blinker kit for it. It's still recording? Yeah, look at that. And you get to see the front of it too. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm using regular 12 mil um these are actually seven millimeter nuts but i'm using regular 12 mil hex wheels on this hummer right now i plan on upgrading but everybody knows how that goes so we'll see what happens um hopefully i can get some scx6 axles for this that would be the ideal uh decision to go with uh i don't know um i actually think i found some axial wraith and forgive me if i'm saying it wrong but uh axial wraith axles for this um 
they're uh two inches longer than these i believe just about uh these are only like five inches and those are about nine eight eight to nine inches so they're about four four inches longer two on each side so that should bring the wheels out a little bit um hopefully strengthening the rear end and how much the rear end sways back and forth um i don't know if it will but it'd be cool if it did all right let's roll that back out of the way so much easier to actually roll it that rc car is probably more than 30 pounds so sitting on the floor and picking it up is quite a task but now we're going to throw these which uh by the way i've already pulled the foams out of these uh this looks a little more appropriate to the size i feel So we'll throw these on there real quick. I do like these wheels. Um, this this is only rear wheel drive. I've said that before in the beginning of the video, I believe. It is only rear wheel drive. But uh, if I can get either a servo for or a servo mount for either one of these axles uh then that won't be the case it will be four-wheel drive then uh i'm pretty sure that i have to get longer uh a arms or i believe uh, what are these arms called correct me in the comments uh, i believe i have to get longer ones of those i don't know why i just did that all by hand like that anyway um but correct me if i'm wrong believe these are called a-arms and obviously as you can see there's the gold ones in the front that's because this this is actually the uh, parts crawler that uh, got so much population uh in the shorts videos uh i've done quite a bit to it it's got it's gone through two different uh bodies and i i like this ford body over all of the other ones the detail on it is just so much better i know it looks a little beat up it's an old uh new bright rc car body just like the hummer so it kind of holds its place for me um yeah hopefully you guys can still see that i know i have quite the ang camera angle so you can probably see the cat too um yeah there's the the ford back from its monster truck journey um that had to have been bad on that little uh i think that's a 15 kilogram servo definitely not made for this kind of weight or for those big wheels i should say the weight of those big wheels um I know that switching from these these little ones on the Hummer and then going back to the big ones, this the Hummer gained a lot of weight. Um, I do like those big wheels. They they help that Hummer crawl. And I really, really, really do like this. Set your RC car on it. Spin it all the way down. And you set your RC car on it, and then you can spin it, and it'll get taller and taller and taller and taller and taller and taller, and then eventually it'll just slide off. But you can spin it for quite a while. So, yeah. There's the Hummer for you. And the F-150. I really, 
would like to put the Hummer on the stand, but it's not tall enough. Yeah, completely disconnected. Uh, just a little once over. Basically what I, I run a 3S on this little, I think that's a Hobby Wing ESC. And uh, yes, I run Traxxas and like all of my stuff because I have so many Traxxas controllers. And I think that I prefer Traxxas over every other company. So yeah, I really like spinning this thing. But yeah, there's a quick tire change video with the Hummer and Henry and Traxxas parts. And uh, thank you for enjoying the uh, videos on my phone, because obviously the GoPro is trash. Y'all have a good one, and thank you.